All right, so we got some football. Uh, AFL, that's pretty much out there. Um, Brooklyn Smith, uh, linebacker for the Bears. I think he was drafted in 2018. So he's looking for a big contract. Chicago doesn't seem like they want to give him that big contract. Modern NFL. Um, the key, key positions in the NFL for today to pay is quarterback, left tackle, um, uh, wide receiver, corner, and pass rusher. Um, anything else kind of kind of varies. Um, now, Raquan Smith is definitely one of the best, if not the best, linebacker in the NFL. Dude is an absolute beast. Um, I think he had like 160-something tackles last year. I mean, he's, he's a phenomenal player. Um, he's not injury prone. I think he's only like 25, maybe 26. Um, but generally, you know, you're not going to pay your um, – your linebackers top shelf money, you know, linebackers, running backs today in the league, generally not going to pay those guys, you know, um, you know, uh, just those kind of pay, uh, uh, pay. I mean, Chicago needs offensive line. They need more receivers, uh, tight end. Um, you know, their defense though, it's, um, trickled down a little bit since like, Obviously, 2018, 2019, when they were just ridiculously great as a collective. Um, they're still decent on paper. Eddie Jackson's still there. Um, so they still got some pieces. Their defense is still going to be, you know, bare minimum solid. But in an offensive league, you got Aaron Rodgers. Uh, the Vikings are, look like they're going to take a step up this year. Got an offensive coach, Kirk Cousins. You know, he's, he's not a bum. He's a decent QB. Got a lot of talent at receiver, tight end, Dalvin Cook. So, um, you know, even the Lions, um, I, you know, offensively, they're actually not half bad. So, you know, the, the whole division you're in, because really, the NFL, you really want to win your division first before you worry about what the rest of the league is doing. And everyone in their, in their division either has a really good quarterback like Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers or they got offensive talent like Detroit and Minnesota with competent quarterbacks. Jared Goff, he's not half bad. He's not a world beater, but again, he's not a bum. He did get to a Super Bowl. Uh, Kirk Cousins, you know, he's he's all right. Um, and they got a lot of good pieces around him. DeAndre Swift, uh, running back for the Lions, he's pretty good. They got some receivers. So pretty much your whole division can, you know, legitimately score – I mean, you got a rookie. Justin Fields is talented, but, <clears throat> you know, with that offensive line, which I think ranked like 30th, something like that, you know, he's going to be – good thing he's a good athlete because he's going to be running for his life for the majority of the time. Um, so, you know, as I, I would say personally if I was a GM for the Bears, I would get everything I could for him. Uh, there's teams that could use a, a stout linebacker. The Chiefs could definitely use him. Uh, just bona fide tap. Man, if he – actually, the Chiefs would be – he'd be perfect for them because uh, he could really stuff teams in the middle, especially since they've kind of, on paper, lost a step on offense. Um, trying to think of another good team. The Raiders could use a linebacker. Um, who else you got? Well, it probably wouldn't be smart to um, keep him in the NFC. If I was to stay, stay in the AFC – uh, I would say he probably would want to go to, you know, a team that could provide draft picks and be, you know, playoff competent. Um, but, you know, the NFL is not a player's league like the NBA, so it's kind of just, you know, you go where we say. Um, trying to think who else would make sense for them. Uh, man, I don't know. That's the thing about it too. What what can you really get for him? He's a great player, but what are you gonna get for him? Because ideally, obviously, you want to keep him, but generally, they have so many other problems elsewhere in that roster. I mean, you know, what's you know, 
I, I don't knock him for wanting his pay. I'm never going to knock anybody for trying to get your money. Uh, especially he probably wants to go to a team that has a chance to win, but you're still under contract. So you can't really – and they can always franchise tag you for a year or two. So I, I think players today, even if you can get the trade, like even Kevin Durant's situation, and I'll do a video about that, um, asking is not a problem, but it's how you ask. Um, and I don't even think he's got like an agent for real, so – you know, the NFLPA might be kind of holding up whatever um, trade he could do, even if the Bears wanted to, because I don't even think he's got an actual agent, at least not an approved agent. So, you know, that kind of legal thing matters, too. So, you know, he's a great player. Um, I mean, it's kind of, you know, linebackers kind of a loss you know, position, especially since they got to be a little bit smaller in today's game because everything's about the pass. Um, man, I, I'm really trying to think. Uh, Chiefs, Raiders, any, any like, average or bad defense definitely could use a linebacker because um, he can cover a little bit too. So, um, you know, he can jam up some tight ends as well. Uh, the Chiefs really make the most sense. Um, the Raiders, that that wouldn't be a bad spot for him too. Um, the Bengals could definitely use a linebacker. Chiefs, Bengals, Raiders. Uh, Jesus. Uh, the Commanders, they could use a linebacker, especially with the Reuben Foster thing going on. Um. But the, the main thing for the Bears is what do you really get for him if they were to trade him? I don't even know if they would. I personally would because they got so many other issues on your roster. You have a talented quarterback, but you got one of the league's worst offensive line. He has a good receiver that he can go to. Um, the running back's not half bad, Dave Montgomery, but he's very injury prone. Kind of reminds me of the back that um, who just retired from Seattle. I think his last name was Carson. Um, solid, you know, solid back when he's healthy, but he's just real injury prone, bad O-line. They can't pass block. They can't run block. Um, not that every sack is on the offensive line. Sometimes, you know, athletic quarterbacks get caught playing hero ball, but it's hard for them really to develop if you have no time, you know, whatsoever. And, um, you know, uh, just just watch the highlights of the Bears versus I think it was the Browns last year. Justin Fields got it's amazing he was able to walk. That dude got destroyed. Um <laughs> so that was pretty rough, but I don't know. Let me let, what do you football fans think? Uh keep Raquan Smith. You know, Chicago's all about defense. Um you know, in an offensive league, I mean, I would say get with the program. Not that you want to abandon your defense, but you know, the teams that do well and do well fast tend to go more offensive, offensive coach, build around your quarterback. You see what they did with Cincinnati. They got him offensive line. They got him his uh, receiver from college, um, Tom Brady. He gets, you know, uh, veteran, good veteran receivers. Kirk Cousins, he got an offensive-minded coach. Uh, Philadelphia, he got an offensive – I mean, it's just – especially when you got young QBs. I think that's really important for their developmental stage. Get them an offensive-minded coach or at least build, you know, a roster where they can, you know, work with some talent. Um, so it's, you know, I I'm, might be at the point where I won't really know how good Justin Fields is until he leaves uh, Chicago, kind of like Sam Darnold and um, uh, what's the other boy's name? Baker Mayfield or whatever. But let me know what you guys think. Keep Raquan Smith. Let him go. Hold him hostage. Uh, see what happens. You know, for you Bears fans, oof, sounds like it's going to be another uh, rough year for you guys. But let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, comment, hate, whatever.